Well, one of the best journalists in America, Ed Klein, you know, um, besides all the best-selling books, you should be checking out his blog, Edward Klein. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's tomorrow. <laughs> I thought it was Thursday. One of the best journalists in America, one of the great writers, besides being a best-selling author, you should check out her website. <laughs> Ann Coulter, one of our favorite guests, uh, AnnCoulter.com. You get a new column there. Ann Coulter, how you doing? Hello, Sean Hannity. Good to be here. That's a Friday I'm <laughs> filling in for Sean. Have you ever had that where you just, uh, for some, I don't know why, I keep thinking it's Thursday all day. Um, yeah, it's a great, uh, usually on Thursday, I think it's Friday because my column goes up Wednesdays. Yeah. Work so is done for the week. It's fun realizing I have an extra day. Yeah, so it's Wednesday. <laughs> You, however, <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard you make a mistake before. That's well, so great. No, it wasn't a mistake. That was a great introduction. It was just the wrong... It was a great introduction, just the wrong person. Wrong guest, wrong day. I thought it was Thursday. It's it's Wednesday. <laughs> it's been a long and trying week. What, what with Republicans pursuing... Pursuing George Soros's policy objectives in, in their budget. This yeah. is such an unmitigated disaster, Mark Simone. All right, now, Ann Coulter, um, I know everybody's saying, well, what's wrong with Trump? Why hasn't he drained the swamp? Why don't we have health care? Why don't we have the tax? Oh, if you defend this man, I am coming down to your studio and holding your head underwater until the bubbles stop. <laughs> I'm just telling you, he's only been there five minutes. Reagan didn't even get the tax thing through till August. This, this is Trump. He's, a, he's brand new at this. Give him, a, give him some time. Um, no, it's been a hundred days. <laughs> they should have started planning for the wall on November 9th. Um, the first spade should have been stuck in the earth to build the wall the day after his inauguration. What? You can say that with all of his other stuff. Oh, tax policy. That's so complicated. He's never going to get any of that done. Building a wall is not only the central promise of his campaign, but he's a developer. He would never tolerate this with one of his golf courses. Yes, he or would. Or with some project. Oh, no, 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 no. And not only that, we're going backwards. All these Democrats voted for, I mean, I'm sh I think I saw this even on your Twitter feed, um, Obama, Hillary, Chuck Schumer, they all voted for 700 miles of all um, along a 3,000-mile border. Um, no, this this budget bill... Um, thanks, Paul Ryan. Excellent negotiating skills. It actually prohibits building a wall. And Trump didn't even get a vote on it. No, if nothing else, look, he can blame this on Ryan, but then he's got to get rid of Ryan. Yeah, well, that's uh, that's important. We've got to get rid of Ryan. I think everybody can agree Ryan has to go, right? Um, yeah, I think so, but let's do it. That's kind of crucial to success here. Uh, okay, but it's only a hundred. I mean, you're talking about a guy who's never been in politics, suddenly president. It's only a hundred days. Let's say it takes six months to get this stuff started. No, this is a disaster. You do your best stuff when you first get in. I mean, even I haven't seen a catastrophic, a catastrophic collapse like this since Arnold Schwarzenegger. What? And even Arnold Schwarzenegger, the first year he was governing as a Republican, he was pushing some great stuff. Um, and then he collapsed. No, the honeymoon period, this is when you get it done. Yes, it's possible to come back. Um, as I say, in come back. Call, he about just to go started. Up. No, it's not that hard to start building a wall. He's the commander in chief. His job is to defend our borders, to, to consider for 10 seconds signing off on this budget. Um, it, the, the Republican, yeah, okay, I blame the Republicans even more. But you know what? I knew that. That's why we voted for John, Donald Trump, this, this utterly preposterous idea of a president. We didn't care about anything. We didn't care about the Access Hollywood tapes. Why? Because he promised us winning. We're going to win so much, you're going to beg me. No, no, I can't take it anymore. We're winning too much. This was the image of him. Which, is, which fit in with, you know, the most negative things the media could say about Trump. We didn't care. He's Citizen Kane. He's going to Washington. He's going to get it done. And this isn't some tax bill he has to put through. He needs to be interviewing rebar guys and sending them to the border. All right, but it's like uh, in the when the Yankees were at their greatest, you'd sit there and George Steimer, if they were way behind the second inning, be screaming and yelling. It's only the second inning. They'd end up winning the game. 
Um, baseball is different than this. The oh. tax policy is different from this. This is a very easy thing. You build skyscrapers half a mile into the sky where you can, you know, have running water and eat creme brulee. He can build a wall. Okay, but there is progress on the wall. They may no, not there have... is zero progress. We've gone backwards. Well, they no, but are, they... He is forbidden from doing anything on the wall, only 40 miles, again, of a 3,000-mile border. Where there is some, some sad little fencing, the Democrats are going to allow him to fix up to 40 miles. But they are talking to developers, contractors who will eventually build the wall. They pick the location where they're going to start. The- it's possible you can come back when you're t- 20 points down at halftime, but it makes it more difficult. And moreover, also part of this bill, oh my gosh, the crux of everything he was talking about, caring about the working class, bringing their jobs back, not dumping low-wage workers on the country. No, I'm sorry, Goldman Sachs and, and, and their wives, they want the cheap labor, they want their maids to pay their maids even less. And so this bill adds lots more low-wage foreign workers coming in to take the working class's jobs. That is just fantastic. You'll see. Things will get moving. It may take till the summer. Imagine if you were on the Mars mission with NASA, you'd be screaming at them, why aren't you there yet? Why didn't you land yet? It's an hour. compare building a wall (laughs) to going to Mars... I think you are really reaching here, Mark that, Simone. That could be. <laughs> Moreover, I mean, he, he better keep in mind, number one, all of this, you know, betraying of his supporters is not going to help. This is not going to turn Samantha Bee's mind or, or change the New York Times editorial page. No, now they'll just say, now they'll turn from, from hatred to contempt and say what a ridiculous person this is. Um, point one. Point two, he's going to be wiped out in the midterm elections. And good, if you can't get anything through um, when we have a Republican president, a Republican House, and a Republican Senate, there is no point in voting for a Republican ever again, and he's sure not getting anything through when Republicans are wiped out and, and Democrats have a 300-seat majority in the House. Okay, but in swamp world, and Republicans and Democrats all got their lobbyists and donors, they become like one uh, swamp party uh, in opposing things sometimes. Yeah, well, we know that. I think the President of the United States should know that. Oh, but uh, most of these Republicans are going to get bought off by uh, corporate lobbyists to make sure that wall doesn't get built so fast. But look at what, what, how magnificent Trump was as a candidate. He pointed that sort of thing out. He has his Twitter feed. He gives amazing speeches. How about using some of that bully pulpit? to go after these Republicans and the lobbyists and the Chamber of Commerce. He, can, he could win anything. He got us to vote for him for president. And again, um, I love him, but he is quite an improbable president. Well, i got to agree with you on that. If this were Reagan, he would have already done five primetime speeches that really moved the nation to what he wanted. He didn't, he's got to do that. Primetime speech. Yeah, and tw- and his magnificent Twitter feed. Yeah, but prime time, East Room of the White House. Let me explain to you why we need that wall. And attack the Republicans for everything you just said. All right, we finally agree on something. <laughs> so, uh, uh, hey, your new column comes out tomorrow. Uh, no, did, you, good grief. Do you know what day it is? <laughs> I thought it comes out on Thursday. You must have had one hell of a night last night. Yeah, I actually night. did. <laughs> actually, it's I did. Wednesday. It normally goes up at 6 p.m. today, but oh. this is urgent, so it's going to go up early today. I'm not sure when. Oh, okay. But if you go to AnnCoulter.com and sign up, you will be the first to uh, get the column, AnnCoulter.com. Uh, get her book, In Trump We Trust. You still trust him, right? Um, yes, but if this, if this nonsense keeps Uh-oh. up, I'm changing the title to In Trumpism We, Co- we Trust. Because Uh-oh. it does have all the best issues and all the best personality. And, oh my gosh, that campaign was the most magnificent thing I've ever seen. He's got to go back to that, Donald Trump. Uh-oh. And not the Donald Trump trying to suck up to Goldman Sachs. All right, well, buy the book right now because it may be a collector's item with the original title. <laughs> <laughs> In Trump, we trust. Let's go to AnnCoulter.com and sign up there. Ann Coulter, thanks for being with us. Good to talk to you, Mark Simone. Bye-bye. Right. <laughs> Take care.